Welcome to Web3 Today. We are here with the latest updates on the blockchain world. The Texas House of Representatives has approved a bill that would require crypto exchanges to maintain reserves in an amount sufficient to fulfill all obligations to customers. The bill proposes amendments to the Texan Financial Code, especially Section 160. Under the amendments, digital asset providers that cater to more than 500 customers in state and hold at least $10 million of customer funds will be prohibited from mixing customer funds with any other form of operational capital and using customer funds for any transaction other than the original one requested by customer. According to the local media reports, Roku has received regulatory approval to operate in South Africa, enabling users to buy cryptocurrencies and withdraw funds with the South African rand, the country's fiat currency. Open Campus is a community-led Web3 educational protocol that seeks to tokenize the world's educational content by allowing teachers and creators to monetize their content. Gemini has announced plans to establish an offshore derivatives platform. The Gemini's foundation's first product will be a perpetual Bitcoin contract denominated in Gemini dollars, followed by a perpetual Ether contract also linked to JUST. Rebase and its co-founder, Edmund Truong, firmly denied accusations made by a fellow co-founder and a business partner in a recent lawsuit filing. Gagaki alleged that Truong went rogue by stealing $2 million from a joint crypto wallet and ousted him from the company. That is all for today. Stay tuned for more news from Web3 World. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the Ether World YouTube channel. Thank you.